More news. Fremont High School is expanding. It's added a career center, allowing students to get hands on with the trades. School believes it'll have a big impact. And KETV News Watch 7's Aaron Hegarty is here with the details on that. Aaron? Yeah, Rob, in 2021, Fremont voters approved a bond issue to help fund this. It's in partnership with Metropolitan Community College. Students can get dual credits. Several local industries are chipping in, too, in the hopes the programming will help them develop their workforce. Fremont High School's old welding lab is sticky, oily, dusty, dark. But in here, a lot of success over nine years, Superintendent Mark Shepard says. So we decided let's build on that. Now the welding program is getting an upgrade. Students will stand back and they'll be able to watch on the screen what the instructor is demonstrating. With 15 welding stations each of two different types. They'll be 100% full. It's part of an expansion to Fremont High, the Career and Technical Education Center opening this school year. We had to be looking at high wage, high skill, high demand jobs. So if they met those three criteria, then we kind of started looking at that. Is that something that we could do here at the high school? With big windows to show off what's happening in the labs, there's also construction tech. And they're going to see a house, a 1,200 square foot house being built right in front of their very eyes. And in automotive and diesel tech, students will work on cars provided by local car dealerships. The local car dealerships are super excited about this opportunity. And a robotics lab. It's about $350,000 worth of equipment in this lab. Beyond the trade, students can kick off a career in health. Everything is authentic, everything is real. That's exciting to the local hospital CEO, Brett Richmond at Methodist. Certainly there's been a healthcare workforce shortage, and so we see this as a real opportunity to partner with the high school and get more young men and women interested. Methodist contributed to the school's effort. Shepard says it's already paying off, getting students interested, tripling the number of students in the nursing program all in an effort to bolster the future of the town and the students. It's truly career changing, life changing for our students. The building itself cost nearly $10 million to build. On top of that, there's about $2 million worth of equipment inside. Back to you, Rob.